Esther, Queen Esther, one, The King's Banquet. These events happened in the days of King Xerxes, who reigned over 127 province, provinces, provinces stretching from India to Ethiopia. At that time, Xerxes ruled his empire from his royal throne at the fortress of Susa. In the third year of his reign, he gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. He invited all the military officers of Persia and Media, as well as the provinces and nobles, the princes and nobles of the provinces. The celebration lasted a hundred days, a tremendous display of the opulent wealth of his empire and the pomp and splendor of his majesty. When it was all over, the king gave a banquet for all the people, from the greatest to the least, who were in the fortress of Susa. It lasted for seven days and was held in the courtyard of the palace garden. The courtyard was beautifully decorated with white cotton curtains and blue hangings, which were fastened with white linen cords and purple ribbons to silver rings embedded in marble pillars. Gold and silver couches stood on a mosaic pavement of porphyry marble, mother of pearl and other costly stones. Drinks were served in gold goblets of many designs, and there was an abundance of royal wine, reflecting the king's generosity. By edict of the king, no limits were placed on the drinking, for the king had instructed all his palace officials to serve each man as much as he wanted. At the, time, at the same time, Queen Vashti gave the banquet for the women in the royal palace of King Xerxes. Queen Vashti deposed. On the seventh day of the feast, when King Xerxes was in high spirits because of the wine, he told the seven eunuchs who attended him, Mehumam, Mehuman, Bistha, Harba, Harbona, Bigtha, Abaktha, Zathar, and Carcass, to bring Queen Vashti to him with the royal crown on her head. He wanted the nobles and all the other men to gaze on her beauty, for she was a very beautiful woman. But when they conveyed the king's order to Queen Vashti, she refused to come. This made the king furious, and he burned with anger. He immediately consulted with his wise advisors, who knew all the Persian laws and customs, for he always asked their advice. The names of these men were Karshina, Shatar, Admatha, Tarshish, Mares, Marcina, and Memukan, seven nobles of Persia and Media. They met with the king regularly and held the highest positions in the empire. What must be done to Queen Vashti, the king demanded. What penalty does the law provide for a queen who refuses to obey the king's orders, properly sent through his eunuchs? Memukan answered the king and his nobles. Queen Vashti has wronged not only the king, but also every noble and citizen throughout your empire. Women everywhere will begin to despise their husbands when they learn that, Qu that Queen Vashti has refused to appear before the king. Before this day is out, the wives of all the king's nobles throughout Persia and Media will hear that the queen did what the queen did and will start treating their husbands the same way. There will be no end to their contempt and anger. So if it pleases please the king, we suggest that you issue a written decree a law of the Persians and Medes that cannot be revoked. It should order the Queen Vashti be forever banished from the presence of King Xerxes, and that the king should choose another queen more worthy than her she. When this decree is published throughout the king's vast empire, husbands everywhere, whatever their rank, will receive proper respect for their wives. The king and his nobles throughout this made, made good sense, thought this made good sense. He followed Memukan's counsel. He sent letters to all parts of the empire, to each province in its own script and language. 
proclaiming that every man should be the ruler of his own home and should say whatever he pleases.